All right, I thought I would do a quick review. One of the most important tools on our farm is our uh, hardtop agrifab, I believe it's a 32, sorry, uh, bushel um, leaf vacuum. Got it attached to our pretty well used up Cub Cadet uh, 50 inch zero turn. Had this for a few years. Um, <clears throat> bought it pre-pandemic used for a whopping 450 bucks. Didn't need anything. It's got a nine horse Briggs and Stratton motor. Not my favorite brand of motor, but um, so far so good. All I've had to do is um, rewire the wiring harness a little bit because our geese decided to take everything apart. So uh, that's not the fault of the vacuum. This year I did uh, carb and air filter clean and we just put a new hose on it um, because we're using a zero turn the hose has to be stupid excessively long and the hoses do wear out um, so far it's been really good for us um, the farm here we're on a, a maple sugar bush that's why our name is what it is and uh, they make a lot of leaves so um, Got this running for the first time this year yesterday. Did a little bit of the driveway and the front lawn. And this is the amazing part of a leaf vacuum if you haven't used one before. Um, as I walk into some prickers here. Oops. Uh, really chops up the leaves really fine. Uh, which is excellent for a million things on the farm. Lawn hadn't been mowed, so um there's grass clippings in there too as the season goes on it just becomes more and more of the leaf litter this thing tilts i've never tilted it um, i just use a metal rake and pull everything out and then i'll come back with the tractor or the skid steer and i'm going to throw this onto the uh, manure pile it does a really good job of breaking everything down and You'd be shocked by how much comes out of this. So I'll skip ahead for a second, um, pause this, and I'll start scooping some of that up. So that is one load. There's a million ways to uh, dump these. People put tarps inside them and then pull the tarps out. Um, quite honestly, I've never really been that bothered by doing the work manually, but it's an unbelievable amount of leaves that these pick up. Try to get far enough back, you can really see it. And, um, you know, not affiliated in any way with AgriFab. None of our videos are paid or sponsorship or affiliate links or any of that stuff. So, give you the most honest review I can. Um, the tubes are fairly low quality that come with them, they say, on the internet. So, that's one thing I can hear my neighbor using his. Um, Cyclone rake, he's had the same cyclone rake for 13 years, never replaced a single part on it. So that says something for them. Um, works really well. If you fill up the hopper, the tube gets filled up and then you gotta take that off and you gotta unclog that filter. So you kinda have to get used to listening for it and watching for clogs. Um, but yeah, this is, I don't know, about a three foot high pile. And like I said, that's just from doing some of the front lawn. Um, I'll show you in a minute what I'm gonna tackle today. We'll see how many loads that is. All right, so this is today's project. This is part of our sugar bush. It's got a, some established lawn, that area, all new established lawn. And basically half of the leaves have fallen. So how these work are that you um, this has its own motor, runs the vacuum, and then you obviously run your uh, mower as well. Let's see if we can get around. It's cold blooded here.
got to look at how I use this. Um, like I had said, that area is newly seeded. Um, a lot didn't set up. It's pretty dusty over there. And a ton of trees because it's in our um, maple sugar bush. So for all you OCD lawnmowers, if you are dealing with trees, you're not going to have perfectly straight lines because you are towing a trailer. So it's hard to get into um, the edges of the trees without being a little sporadic and then coming through and doing some lines. Actually ran into one of the trees, didn't even realize I knocked the um, back door loose on this thing. But uh, I wanted to show you what, oh, Jesus, what um, an area that size, that full of leaves, like I said, hasn't been touched yet this year, would look like in this thing. Um, with uh, full load and I got lucky and just stopped before it backed up because there is no room to spare on this thing um, that first load that I showed you wasn't even packed in there that tight that is that shows you how tight that actually is so uh, very valuable tool to us paid a whopping 450 bucks for it um, I think they retail for like 13.99 used you can find them now with COVID prices um, around eight hundred dollars used um at that price it might make sense just to buy a new one i don't know depends on how hard it's been worked i'm not too nice to mine <clears throat> but if you find one that was only driven to church on sundays maybe it'd be worth it for you but um definitely i could tell you i have no desire to ever rake leaves again and with these broken down that much uh it really helps the mulch um become or um the manure become um composted and goes into the garden really well so anyway not affiliated but uh an honest review of that agrifab uh, mowing back I, like i said i believe it's 32 bushel is the size of that one and this is like year five maybe on this thing and uh god knows how long the guy had it before me so good luck with your fall cleanups